Welcome to the Sunoco Duels, the first duel, as we get ready to go green and stuff. Gentlemen, start your engines! Settle in, relax, take a deep breath. It's a long, hard race. Gotta pay it yourself. Oh, problems already. Problems already for Ian Stiegel. Stalled up. He, start, he starts on the pole for the Sunoco duel, and today's prize is one point. Zero. Even though the zero is not value. So we have numbers one to twenty seven. So that's only so we only have twenty cars. But one driver has stalled out the C gate car, sadly. Only one car more than the uh M M's unlimited. Alright, so we're just gonna start the race with 19 because Ian Stiegel just stalled up. So Pichu London will start on the pole this time. And this is the first annual duel as the green flag out in the air. It's Speed Weeks. I don't think I should play that music anymore. Some of these drivers are excited to race here because they did not win the draw for the uh, m ms Unlimited drivers like Pichu London, Jamie Emerson, okay the two got in, Chris Kyle, C. Emerson, they're going three wide, hitting that wall. John McNamara will now take over the 18, was able to take over. I still have not fixed the grip because I didn't feel like it. I'll do it later for the Daytona 500. Hopefully this Daytona 500 will not be as big, at, will not have a big wreck at er, at a early point at the race. Last season on lap three, at least 30 cars were out of the race and don't do and that was the only caution because there was only 30 cars noodles was was the champion with a nice pit strategy they're going way three wide with Chris Cowan finishing second that time Penske could go one and two uh, well, whatever Austin Mongol is now taking over the lead leads the lap In second, George Tross. Did I say it right this time? No. Yeah. I can hear a helicopter if you guys can hear it. Can you guys hear it? I don't think so. So, two drivers now shoot off to the high lane. They're not going through the middle for some reason. Ten cards at the wall. See that drawer is just riding that yellow line. They can do that. I doubt we're gonna see a crash, but we might have a few spins. Now the thirteen car, Austin Ogo, makes his move up front. He'll take over the lead. Here comes a 15 car, Luke Walker. Oh, John McNamara ain't gonna cut him some slack. He's trying to make the pass on him. He nearly turns into, turns him around. Oh man. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Caution, caution. Three drivers spinning through the grass. Oh, heavy damage. To both the 10 and the 24 to 12 car. Does not too much. On the right side, no, actually I should say a lot. Just look at that. Is he so one the one part of the car just completely ripped off. You can see that. 
Well, adding one. I don't know what caused that. Oh, so the eight car already had a header problem. That's what. That's why he's out of the race. Now let's take a look at the replay of what happened as we take a look at our. No, never mind. All right, here it is. The two Penske drivers, both of them are brothers. Chris Kyle will hit that wall way too hard. Comes right in front of that 10 car of George Roke. Nowhere for the 24 to go. So he runs right into the back of that 10 car. Some kind of L shaped debris just completely ripped off from Chris Kyle's car. George Roke's bump. Bumpers completely flattened. And look at that roof. I mean, hood. That thing smashed in like someone just punched it with with a cinder block that weighs five thousand pounds or something. No, never mind. Now let's take a boot back to the restart. Whoops, I messed up the restart. But well, whatever, we got two laps to go. Here we go. Luke Walker in the lead. John McNamara second. Third Nick Perkulis. Fourth Austin Ogo and fifth Jamie Emerson. Here comes the two car on the bottom. Only two laps. Can it catch Luke Walker? Luke Walker's currently a sitting nuck right now. Usually the best move could be on the back stretch because everyone goes wild all over the damn place. Turn one and two is early, no doubt about it. Now making a move over here isn't that good because they kind of don't they don't time it perfect. Oh, a little bit of lag. Computer needs air. Whoops! So oh, I scared my dog. Here comes a two. But that seven's coming. Okay, back to normal now. Give my computer air. That seven looking to the high lane for some reason. Ah, uh, why is he doing that? Well, the eleven on the bottom. Well, not what he's way too back. You know, there there's only been one pass on the low lane that you can do it. So getting the one point bonus and they're wrecking at the end oh my god and the two car wins it the Daytona duels and what a wild finish to end the duels for the first duel Luke Walker is wrecked John McNamara wrecked Austin Mongo wrecked George Tross heavy damage Colin Martell oh man Wow, what a finish. I don't think I've ever seen that ever. They wrecked on the final corner coming to the trial. Let's take a look at it again. That was exciting. I told you they were going to go crazy. Luke Walker was trying to push that seven card, but then he bounced off the wall way too hard. Got, got into a few jars. John McNamara was one of them. See all these are just slipping right in front of traffic. The one just got clipped right in front of the 22, the 9. Wow. That was ridiculous. The 9 car just dodged a big ass bullet. And oh, that's what caused that part. 21, Colin Martell was just helping George Trost crossing the finish line. So, of course, there will no be backup. They will not be starting at the rear. Or will they? No, they won't. Because I'm too damn lazy. I thought it was going to be a three wide finish, but that two car held that high line uh, pretty well. Let's take a look at the race results. Here's the official results Nick Perculus wins the one point bonus and the first annual. Gator, uh, Skun Sunoko Duel. These are the only two cars left on track. Pichu Lennon, second, third, Brian Fuller, fourth, Julia Fuller, fifth, Leigh Walker, sixth, Asunoko, seventh, Ria Takiti. I, ah, I forgot how to pronounce it. 
he he gave me the thing, but I I I, I, I forgot. <laughs> I I I. Austin Mongold eighth, Jamie Emerson ninth, tenth Noodles Noodley, and there's the rest of the field. That sums up Duel One. No, that ends Duel One. I should say that. We'll see you for Sunoco Duel Two that will feature numbers twenty-eight to ninety-nine. Here at Victory Lane with the better driver, I think. I don't really, I don't really know this guy. All right, we'll see you for duel number two.